Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this Mountain Dew Swirl Ice Cream using three different flavors, regular Mountain Dew, Code Red, and Voltage. So keep watching and I'll show you step-by-step step how to make this. Now the first thing we need to do is prepare the flavors for our ice cream, and the flavors I'm using are Mountain Dew, just regular Mountain Dew, Mountain Dew Code Red, and Mountain Dew Voltage. Last September, I made Mountain Dew ice cream and I flavored it with just regular Mountain Dew. And how I did so was just pour one cup of Mountain Dew as the flavoring. But this time, I'm gonna make it a little more flavorful. This step is optional, but it will add more flavor to your Mountain Dew because some people said that the Mountain Dew didn't have as much flavor in it. So what we're gonna do is boil down some of the water out of the Mountain Dew. So what I'm gonna do is start with two cups of Mountain Dew. You need to do this with each flavor we have. So we have three different flavors. We need to do this three different times. One, two cups for each of those flavors. Put it into a heavy pot. Then we're gonna take this over to the stove, we're gonna bring it to a boil, and we're gonna boil it for about 10 minutes or until it reaches 225 degrees Fahrenheit, which is roughly around 105 degrees Celsius. That's gonna reduce this liquid to half its size, so we'll only have one cup left. Turn off your heat, let it sit until it gets to room temperature. Now what we need to do is prepare our ice cream base and I have a large bowl here which I put in the freezer just to get it nice and cold. This will help the process. I also have two cups of heavy whipping cream. This is also really cold. I'm just gonna pour this in here. And we just wanna whisk this up until it's nice and firm and stiff. And after only a couple minutes, it should be nice and firm just like this. At this point, we want to fold in a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And you just want to lightly fold it. You don't want to over mix it. And you don't want to mix it at all, really. You just want to fold it in from the bottom up around. Okay, so after everything has mixed in really good, we're just gonna take this and divide it into three separate bowls because we have three separate flavors we're gonna mix in. After we have all of our ice cream base divided into three different bowls, what I'm gonna do is one by one, add the flavoring to it. I'm gonna start with the code red. This is at room temperature. I'm just gonna pour this in here. And we just wanna fold this into it. Now this step is optional. I'm gonna add some red food coloring to this because I want it to be a brighter color red. And after that's mixed in, just take that, set that aside, we'll move on to our next color. When that's all mixed in, we're gonna color this one too. I'm gonna to add two drops of green, or three, and about one drop of yellow, and see how that looks. And after that's done, we're gonna move on to our next step. For the next step, I have this Tupperware bowl. This is a freezer safe Tupperware bowl. I put these little dividers, which is just cardboard, and I covered it with some wax paper, just so it won't stick. They're only gonna be in there temporarily, so only after until I've, I fill each slot. We wanna have each flavor in its own little slot. It's gonna be hard to do, but I think we can do it. So the first thing I wanna do is fill the middle with the red. So the code red's gonna go in the middle. I'm just gonna pour it in here. It will divide out. But, I'll pour the blue on this side. Hopefully my system works better than this. <laughs> and we'll do the green on this side. It's not working out perfect, but what can you say? Well, I hoped the dividers would work, but they are not working. I might as well just pull those out. So I'm just gonna swirl this and get a good swirl of all the different colors. We'll do it that way. Now I'm just gonna take some saran wrap here, cover this up, 
and press it down until it touches the ice cream base. This is going to help prevent it from getting freezer burn. And then I put my lid on. Take this, put this in the freezer for at least six hours or even overnight. So I've let my ice cream sit in the freezer overnight. Now what I'm going to do is open it up and see how it looks. Pull the plastic off. Now the best part, just scoop it out and serve. Well now it's time for the taste test. I'm going to dig into this. Let's try it out. Let's see how those flavors taste together. Hmm. It's good. It's almost, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a, a mix of cotton candy and with a little kick to it. It's really, really good. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this Mountain Dew Swirl Ice Cream. It was a lot of fun to make. The flavors were amazing together. I hope you get a chance to make it for yourself. And if you do, please share it with me on any of my social media at FunFoodsYT. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button because you get new videos every week. And be sure to hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And write down in the comments below, tell me what your favorite flavor of Mountain Dew is. And until then, I'll see you next week.